Hey there, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about Epsilon GC, the Epsilon garbage collector, or as they say, the no garbage collection collector, and compare it with the garbage first garbage collector and show you how you can essentially turn off garbage collection with Epsilon GC in your Java 11 apps. So to compare Epsilon GC with the standard garbage collector that comes with Java 11, let's run this little example here. As you can see, I've got an infinite loop that puts 100,000 different strings into this innocent little array list. And every once in a while, I check to see if memory usage is over 85%. And if it does, uh, I clear the list. So that list would be clear, memory would be released, and we'd go back to 5 or 10% memory usage until it goes up again. Well, at least if we're using a standard garbage collector. So let's run this with a standard garbage collector. I'll say right click, run as, with the no GC with GC garbage collector. And you can see as we loop through tens or hundreds of thousands of things get added to this array list until finally we hit 85% utilization and it says, hey, that's a lot of utilization and we clear the list. Now, just because we clear the list doesn't mean that garbage collection happens, right? So if I click okay, I still actually get more garbage, more you know, uh, memory used here doesn't necessarily collect the garbage, but eventually it will. So I'll click it again, and there you saw it actually went down to from 447 megs, 87% usage down to just around 20. So, and if you're really interested, you can actually connect to Java Mission Control and open up the MBean server and play with this little example over there. It's always nice to kind of visually see how these things happen where you see that used memory heap over there it kind of goes up garbage collection happens it goes down and then it gets triggered again and anyways just kind of neat looking at java mission control here as this works but certainly we can see that memory usage goes up and then garbage collection happen and it goes down and then it goes up and then it goes down and that's your standard garbage collection okay and then that would be using the g1 garbage collector with java 11. okay i'm going to terminate that just close that particular application, get it terminated there. And now I'm gonna rerun this. Now I'm gonna rerun this using Epsilon. In order to do that, you have to add these different JVM arguments. I have to add in, unlock the experimental VM options, and then also use Epsilon GC. With these two JVM options available to your environment, you'll be using that no garbage collection garbage collector. And let's compare and see what happens. So I'm gonna come back in here. I'm gonna say, this is the no GC memory leak launch. So I'm gonna run that, run that as the Java application. And you'll notice that we get to 87% usage over here. You can also see that according to this, I've got 3.8 million objects in my list, but I'm gonna clear that list that's gonna go from 3,800,000 objects only down to 100,000. But look at this, even though I've cleared all of those objects from the list, I'm still at 89% utilization of memory. Those objects here that are no longer referenced, they're still consuming memory. Um, I can click okay again. Now, garbage collection doesn't always happen just because you're in high memory. And before I saw this, I, we saw that you know, actually we could clear the list and we'd still have high percentage. But after two or three times, we would end up going down to, well, back to like 10 or 15% memory. And I think that was actually the, the minimum to use. And I click it again, but now you can see it's going to 95% and it's getting up there. We are not getting any relief here. And the reason why we're not getting any relief here, even though we just released 3.7, 3.8 million objects, we're not getting any memory relief, relief because the garbage collector is not running. We are not collecting any garbage at all. So even though we've got a minimal number of objects in this list, that memory usage is gonna go up and up, 97%, 99%, hello, Wayne Gretzky right there. And the next time I do this, I think it's gonna be lights out, or at least the out of memory error. Java heap space has been consumed, and I'm afraid we can't run this program anymore. And so there you go, that's how the use Epsilon GC garbage collector works. It simply doesn't do garbage collections. So you can release all of the objects that you want in your applications, 
but even if you're only holding on to one reference or two, if you used a, a million or two before, those are still floating around and you'll end up with the uh, out of memory error. And there you go. That's how you use the Epsilon GC garbage collector and that's how it compares to ZGC1, the standard garbage collector that comes with Java 11. And there you go, that's how the Epsilon GC JVM garbage collector works and how that compares with the garbage first garbage collector you get with Java 11. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Java and enterprise software development. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on the YouTube.